Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video here on Crypto Loop. Today, we're going to be talking about CZ and Binance placing a bid for Voyager Digital. Um, as you guys know from previous video videos, Voyager Digital was acquired or should have been acquired by FTX US for $1.42 billion. However, after the FTX bankruptcy, the collapse and the fallout from that, obviously the deal is no longer going to go through because FTX US clearly does not have $1.42 billion. But there's nothing to worry about because the Binance CEO CZ has confirmed that Binance US is going to bid for the crypto lender Voyager. Um, as you guys know, Voyager is now holding an other auction. They tweeted on November 16th, Voyagers, in light of recent events and reports regarding FTX US, the customer vote will be canceled, the vote for the FTX sale, and the proposed sale will not move forward. We are in active discussions with several alternative bidders, and they will keep us updated on reorganization efforts. Since then, there's only been a couple, um, a couple tweets regarding the Voyager app, but nothing else regarding the sale. But today, November 24th, the day that I'm recording and uploading this video, um, CZ basically confirmed it in an interview he said that binance us will make another bid for voyager now uh, given ftx is no longer able to follow through on that commitment um following the bankruptcy ftx emerged as, as the front runner to acquire the lender um binance came in a little bit short there was an auction for voyager and ftx bid the highest with 1.42 billion so i think it's fairly safe to say that the bid by Binance or whatever the amount is that Binance is going to be purchasing Voyager Digital for um, is going to be lower than the 1.42 billion that were previously offered by FTX since Binance did not win the bid and likely offered something lower. And now that FTX is gone, um, the bid might be even lower um, than it initially was going to be. But that's obviously all cause for speculation because we don't know the exact numbers. Um, but basically, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be interesting to see what what's gonna come out of here. Is also an interesting statement by CZ. I think the U.S. national security concerns were rumors spread by FTX to try and push us out of the bid. Um, so just to clarify that, back at the last Voyager Digital auction, um, FTX or not necessarily FTX, but that's CZ's um, idea of what happened. But basically there were rumors going around that if a Binance were to purchase Voyager Digital, that it was uh, that it's a national security concern for the US due to, um, you know, um, Binance being a Chinese company, which today on Twitter, CZ actually car clarified once again that Binance is not a Chinese company. Um, it says here, Binance has been dogged by claims that it is a Chinese company, given it is the country of Zhao's birth, though he grew up in Canada. And CZ said, I am a Canadian citizen, period. Um, that's what he wrote in September. And today he tweeted that out once again, that um, C, uh, that Binance is not a Chinese company. Um, but basically, there were never any concerns about us participating in the bid. They did bid, they lost, and now they're bidding again. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see whether Binance is going to end up swooping up Voyager Digital and coming in uh, for the rescue there, basically. Now, we know that with the last recovery plan by FTX, um, the plan said that up to 72% of user funds could be returned. Depends on the asset class of course some were much less um, and some were higher um, but it's going to be interesting to see what type of numbers we're going to see with CZ and Binance coming in um, how what percentage of user funds are going to be returned how fast they're going to be returned what the bid is going to be and and so forth um, so I don't know you guys drop your thoughts in the comments down below what what do you guys think? Do you think um, that you're going to see a similar range of funds being returned? Or do you think that there's just no way that um, they're going to be able to return 72% of user funds? Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated on this whole situation. So if you guys didn't enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so yet, leave a like on this video. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.